Here are some quick What's Trending tips for getting your videos to go viral. Number one, focus on a specific niche topic and make videos that are relevant to people with those interests. Number two, be sure to include the most salient keywords in your description and tags. And number three, if you're making a video about getting your first period, ask a large bearded man to host it. Now sit back and watch the views roll in. Hey, it's Lon and I'm here to talk to you about menstruation. That's right, let's just sit quietly for a moment and allow that information to sink in. No pun intended. Specifically, this sketch about a young girl who lies to her mom about getting her first period and the ensuing first moon party that provides her comeuppance. I just didn't expect my mom to be such a freak. Pin the pad on the period, all right, separate up. Pin the pad on the period? Seriously? Do you know how hard it is to find a uterus pinata? The clip, which has already scored 2.8 million views on YouTube, is a canny ad for HelloFlow.com, a service sending female customers monthly menses-themed care packages. The site advertises its product as a, quote, special delivery for your VJJ, which is coincidentally how I often describe myself in the moments right before women kick me out of their apartments. I could talk about this all day, but let's move on. Pantene also has a viral hit on its hands with this new ad in which we see women apologizing in social scenarios and then an alternate take in which they feel more confident and don't need to say they're sorry. Sorry, can I ask a stupid question? Sorry, do you have a minute? I have a question. Why don't we go back to the original thing that we did? Morning, you got a minute? Despite the relatively clear-cut message, a lot of YouTube commenters are taking issue with the ad. Old Mary Dominion says, quote, So this commercial is telling women that being courteous and polite is weak, and being rude and inconsiderate is empowering. You know, I'm not sure it does say that, unless asking a colleague at work a follow-up question is itself rude. Uh, hey Lon, just wondering how many YouTube comments you want us to find for you to argue with. A few more, gosh! Rude. A lot of guys take the hashtag not all men approach, arguing that because they sometimes apologize too, the clip lacks merit. Joshua Goodman says, quote, I'm a male, the amount of times I apologize in a day is outrageous. This video is so offensive and ignorant. Plus, George Costanza suggests that Pantene should stuff its sorries in a sack. I'm not sure what that means though. But we wanna know what you think. Do women say sorry too much? Do men say sorry too much? Would you like to hear me talk about periods more often? Let us know in the comments below and we'll feature the best responses in a future video. And hey, as long as we're giving out assignments, subscribe right now to What's Trending. You'll be sorry, <laughs> timeliness, if you miss any of our coverage of next week's VidCon from the What's Trending Samsung stage right on the floor. We're hanging with tons of awesome YouTubers and giving away a bunch of great Samsung products and apologizing to literally anyone who asks. Suck it, Pantene!